Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Are you paying too much for international mobile phone service? Call XL Mobile, the world's most affordable and reliable network. Our low cost phone services are available in over 120 countries and include text and data plans that won't break your budget. For detailed description of our service plans, visit our website and click on Mobile. Traveling and staying connected has never been more reasonably priced. Call XL Mobile now. Number 71. What service is being advertised? Number 72. What does the speaker emphasize about the service? Number 73. What does the speaker say can be found on the website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Good morning, Mr. Zeke. This is Shannon calling from Butology Cosmetic Surgery and Laser Clinic. You asked me to let you know if an appointment opened up before your appointment on Monday next week. Well, you're in luck. We have a cancellation for this afternoon at 3 o'clock, so you can have the procedure if you can make it then. Please get back to me ASAP and let me know. Also, remember to bring the results of your most recent blood test. We'll need to see those before you can register for the procedure. Number 74. Where does the speaker work? Number 75. Why is the speaker calling? Number 76. What does the speaker ask the listener to bring? Question 77 through 79 refer to the following broadcast. This is the Business Wire on KTLA Radio. I'm Connor Blakely. Our top story this afternoon Handler Incorporated stock jumped $1 a share today. Following the release of a better than expected quarterly report, the country's leading manufacturer of sporting goods revealed that its earnings for the quarter were 35 cents a share, 10 cents better than analysts had predicted. Handler spokesperson Gary Moore said the company's trade in program for used equipment, offering discounts of up to 50%, has been the driving force behind a 20% in sales. The company forecasts even greater profits after it launches a new line of tennis rackets in May. Number 77. What does Handler Incorporated make? Number 78. What is true about Handler Incorporated's earnings? Number 79. According to the speaker, what will happen in May? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. The main point of this staff meeting is to inform you of some developments here at the department store in preparation for the start of the holiday season. We've moved our discounted items toward the front of the store to make room for the seasonal products that will soon begin arriving for display. And speaking of the holiday season, I know a lot of you will be looking to take time off to spend with your families, so I have posted a vacation request sign up sheet outside the management office. I can't guarantee every request will be filled, but I will do my best. Number 80. Where are the listeners? Number 81. Why have store displays been rearranged? Number 82. Why does the speaker say, 
And speaking of the holiday season, questions eighty three through eighty five refer to the following introduction. Hi, my name is Mitch, and welcome to our sheep farm. I'll be your guide today, and we'll see the wool that this area is famous for. We'll watch a shepherd perform a roundup, then see a farmer shear off the sheep's wool. We'll end our day by visiting our most well-known attraction, a production facility that makes apple juice, another famous local product. You'll get a chance to help pick apples and also a carton of fresh juice to enjoy. And as a reminder, please keep your cell phone in vibrate or silent mode during the tour. Number eighty-three. According to the speaker, what is the farm most famous for? Number eighty-four. What does the speaker say the listeners will do? Number eighty-five. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions eighty-six through eighty-eight refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I appreciate your coming on short notice. I don't know if you've all read the story in this morning's paper about the success of our ad campaign for Trixie's hot sauce, which featured comedian George Castillo. So today, I'd like to reiterate the news that since those ads were released, Trixie sales have increased by almost three hundred percent. I've been in this industry a long time, and I've never seen anything like it. To keep the momentum going, we're going to bring back George for another series of ads. His performance schedule is pretty tight, but we're hoping to set up a video shoot with him this week while he's still in New York. Number eighty-six. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number eighty-seven. What does the speaker imply when she says, "I've never seen anything like it"? Number eighty-eight. What does the speaker hope to schedule this week? Questions eighty-nine through ninety-one refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Franco. This is Todd from Apex Construction. I am here at your property right now, and I'm in the kitchen looking at the plans for where you want the skylight. Well, the problem is that where you want to put it involves a load-bearing beam, which we can't disturb. I know you really like the skylight in that spot, but I hope you're willing to negotiate. I'm going to draw a sketch of where we could put the skylight and leave it on the kitchen counter. I suggest you look it over. I am starting a renovation project in Walnut Creek next week, so please call me back and let me know what you want to do. Number eighty-nine. Why is the speaker calling the customer? Number ninety. What does a speaker imply when he says, "I hope you're willing to negotiate"? Number ninety-one. What does the speaker leave for the customer? Questions ninety-two through ninety-four refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Before we break, let's go over the key points of our new management policies. Timesheets are to be turned into payroll by 5:30 p.m. each Friday. It's the department supervisor's responsibility to make sure they are filled out properly. If they aren't, the payroll of your entire department will be delayed. Overtime must be pre-approved by me, and you must maintain a documentation sheet tracking all overtime hours. Paydays are now on the fifteenth and thirtieth of each month, or the closest Friday if one of those dates falls on a weekend. Finally, 
Please remind your employees to follow company policies in regard to keeping workstations clean and projecting a professional appearance in personal dress. Number 92. According to the speaker, what must be turned in on Fridays? Number 93. What does the speaker ask listeners to do? Number 94. Who, most likely, is the speaker? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following talk and schedule. Okay, folks, can I have your attention at the front of the bus? I hope everybody enjoyed our architectural tour of the historic university district. We saw some amazing stuff, didn't we? Now, if you look to the right, you'll see the Rose Inn where we'll be having lunch. Constructed in 1835, it was originally the county courthouse. And according to our schedule, we're right on time. As you get off the bus, I'll pass out brochures with information about what you'll be seeing at the Gazette Building, home of the city's largest newspaper. Also, let me remind you do not leave any personal items on the bus when we disembark, and keep track of those personal belongings throughout the tour. Number 95. What does the speaker say about Rose Inn? Number 96. Look at the graphic. What time is this talk most likely being given? Number 97. What does the speaker say she will distribute? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following broadcast and map. And now in WDFG Kansas City Sports News, I know everybody is excited about the championship basketball game between our hometown heroes, the Flyers, and the Cincinnati Rebels tonight at Wexler Sky Chips Arena. And I know the big snowstorm has dampened some of your spirits. Even the championship organizers are advising people to stay home tonight. It's dangerous out there. But don't worry about missing out. The game will be broadcast on our sister television station, WDFG Channel 2. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. However, if you are going to try and make it to the arena, I'm told snow removal is ongoing and all parking areas at the arena will be closed. Except the lot accessible from Ashland Avenue. Please plan accordingly, and of course, go Flyers! Number 98. What is taking place tonight? Number 99. According to the speaker, why should listeners watch a game on television? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which parking area will be open? This is the end of the listening test.